Hey everybody, it's Amanda from the St. Louis Science Center, Science Off Center team, here with another experiment for you to try. This was an experiment I discovered actually just a few years ago. I like to have candles in my house, and just kind of by accident, I saw something really cool, I thought, and so I had to investigate it. So what you're going to need for our experiment is a candle or a variety of candles, some matches, some eye protection if you have it, and since we are going to be doing an experiment with fire, parental supervision. So all we're going to do first is light our candles. Okay, so we have our candle lit, and if you know anything about fire, you know it needs three things to work. We have to have oxygen, we have to have a spark, that's what my match did, provide enough spark and heat to light the wick, and then, of course, we have to have a fuel. Now, what I noticed, actually quite by accident, was when I blew the candle out, there's all that smoke, and I could relight it without actually touching the flame to the wick. enjoyed our traveling flame experiment. What you can experiment with is seeing how it works, seeing if different candles work differently, maybe by brand name or if they're beeswax or maybe tea lights versus pillar candles. There's all different ways you can experiment. Let us know what you find at scienceoffcenter.org.